Yes. You're up. Ideas, great. feedback. It's great. Yeah, it's great. It's great. I really thought of Portlandia, but um, just with animation and also with this, you know, the five minute little time, you know, just these kind of really condensed satirical stories. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, just the immediate thing I thought of is that Justin Lin's company is actually producing web content, and you should definitely submit it to them because they specifically told oh. me they're looking for animated series. I didn't know that. That's great. So you should That's definitely awesome. go to Cool. I think it's really timely, and um, and uh, uh, do, you know, doing it over the web is the, the perfect way to go. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, it's like um, I see, uh, and <laughs> this is you're playing with fire, which is, yeah. I, but I yeah. think in this way is it's a is a is a good thing. Yeah. Um, you know, handled smartly, it's very. It's going to be really, um, uh, you know, something very, very different. Um, and uh, you know, I've seen a lot of stuff come across my blog um, recently. Um, there's paints, um, you know, China, and then, and then by extension, just Asian Americans in a very negative light. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this is a way you could sort of undercut that, and, mm -hmm. um, and politically, just a very interesting way to sort of handle that discussion. Um, yeah. I kind of hope that you would have something. Um, uh, you know, embedded into you know the whole entire experience where people can actually have a. I'm, I'm obviously, you're inviting a flame war, but like some kind of, you know, we can talk about you know the, the idea of like um, you know uh, yellow peril images in, in 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 politics and things like that, and and just sort of bounce off like you know the kinds of political ads that we're seeing. Maybe we can you know create something actually constructive. Definitely. Um, yeah. I mean, definitely. I mean, I was just even thinking about this whole thing with Jeremy Lin and how it, somehow it's okay for journalists and the media to kind of make these really incendiary kind of offensive remarks about Jeremy that somehow wouldn't fly if, if he were African American or any other kind of ethnicity. And, and definitely I think I could take those challenges like kind of head on and kind of make fun or make light of those um, contradictions and those um, double standards. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Great. Any burning comments, ideas, please? I don't know where you're based, but um, you should hook up with this theater group here in San Francisco that's doing You're in Town, the play You're in Town, which is on um, the Geary Theater. Oh man, we should have a partnership. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. No, I'm based in Los Angeles, but that, that's very easy for me to, to, to partner with. That'd be great. Thank you. I think you have a great concept. Um, my concern for you is I think right now it feels like it's very ethnically focused on the Asian American community and you'll be speaking to the converted. Mm -hmm. I think you have an opportunity to really make this a broader based mm -hmm. thing. So I think my suggestion to you is include some uh, characters of different races who are regular characters in your piece, not just the caricature of the the uh, anchorman, but actually people who are interacting with our characters. Because yeah, I think that'd be, that'd be a really broad-based um, idea, and I think that's probably one of the reasons why the TV network, so the TV executive is Bach. I think that's right, yeah. I mean, I know, the, you know, for example, we have one episode um, called West Side Chinese Story, and it's um, <laughs> Mr. Chen falls for his daughter's US history teacher who's Caucasian, you know, so there's this like the interracial thing, but uh, Mr. Chen's a union buster, and she's, a very active member of the teachers' union. So it's this kind of West Side Story kind of allegory. But like for sure, every episode has different characters featured and they're not all Asian. But I, I, it's a point well taken. In, the, in your concept, when you're pitching the idea, mm -hmm. you're regular characters, and yeah. you need, uh, other characters as the regular. Cool. Yeah, that's, cool. that's a very good point. Good. Thank you. Time for maybe two more. I just wanted to say that was, um, uh, oh. it's a brilliant idea. And especially uh, in the world where Jon Stewart uses satire so very well yeah. um, to sharpen the contradictions um, in the media. But um, I also was wondering if uh, you were going in the direction as like, say, The Simpsons, where they have featured, like the Jeremy Lin you were talking about, where um, you have him as the character of the episode and just like make fun of the whole subject. And also another comment is uh, there's a a uh, group of artists, uh, Bindle Stiff Studios, that you can tap into in, in terms of uh, voice uh, They're actors. based here? Yes. Oh, OK, cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I definitely, when we, we conceived of this, it was, we definitely took our inspiration from The Simpsons and The Daily Show. And since it's inherently satire, I, t I think we are actually allowed to make fun of public officials and people as, as long as it's not libelous, you know, or not actually slandering them. But um, yeah, so I mean, I'm hoping that we can 
be, be at that point where we can do things like that, that would be really great, actually. So yeah, that's definitely p one of our in intentions. Yeah. All right, one last comment. There was one I saw, please. It's coming at you. So two, two things. One of them is um, it'd be interesting that in order to get the other characters her donation, it's just how, do, how would they feel? Like all of a sudden there's this other country that's like taking over them. So it'd be interesting to see how their reactions. And then on a completely different note, going back to Toilet Town, mm -hmm. um, maybe you could have a recurring thing where like if people are watching television, they see advertisements for Toilet Town and be marketed specifically to people with overactive bladders. Yeah. <laughs> like it'd be like the one amusement park they could go to and not be afraid of running out of bathrooms. So. Totally, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But and, uh, wait, to your first point again, what was your, I'm sorry. But, I'm so nervous up here. Oh, it, it was just that, you know, someone had commented about having other people who oh, aren't yeah. Asian. Mm -hmm. Like, it would be interesting to see how, how, how would they react? Like, even me, it's like, I'm Asian, but mm -hmm. like, if I'm living in California, all of a sudden China's in charge. I mean, yeah. that would be like a huge shock for me. That's one of the major storylines that will run throughout I every episode. But, you know, we really deal with that in the, the, in the early episodes. It's really just sort of like public reaction and how, how, how Mr. Chen tries to allay people's fears and how it blows up in his face, and yeah, yeah. But that, that's definitely a, a, key, a central question that runs throughout the series. You need to get the email addresses of everyone in this room to be your first focus group, because yeah, we already care deeply about what happens. Maybe.